Hey, what's up everybody? Sean here and I'm sitting here with Alex and we are up in the Hollywood Bowl lookout talking about YouTube and talking about video. How's it going, man? It's going great. I'm having a great day. It's beautiful out right now. We picked the perfect time to come out here because it was much hotter earlier today. Yeah, this is perfect. We're at that golden hour. If the light gets weird, it's because the sun is setting, but we're going to do our magic. The following content is brought to you in part by FameBit. FameBit is the number one platform for YouTube, Instagram, Vine, and Twitter creators to connect with brands for paid sponsorships. Get signed up and start making money today at FameBit. Dot com. We're talking about online video. Now, you've been doing online video for a long time. I actually watched an old video with you. Oh, no. I think, uh, I think you were wearing a hat, talking about texting. Oh, God, no. That's like the first that's one, I think, a, right? That's the worst video. What, what year was that first that, video that you uploaded? That might have been 2009. Okay, okay. So, so you've been in this five plus years, six years. Yeah. What's kind of been your story with online video? Like what have first kind of got you into it and what got you started and what's been your progression? Okay, so it's, it was a really interesting start. I was a senior in high school and I got sick with chicken pox. Random, I'd never had it obviously. And so I got chicken pox. I was out of school for two weeks and I had nothing to do. I couldn't leave the house. And I was on YouTube one day and a couple of videos caught my eye. And then I realized that there are certain people who had like consistently put out videos and the, that was like a thing and from ever since then I watched them and then I watched people do like live streams on something that was called blog TV at the time that's now you now yeah and I got into it that way I got started doing that okay that's awesome so you saw that it was happening and then you started with your rash new channel right and it, it was it's it's been a, it's been a progression what's been the progression of content there well that because I started way back in the day like the main thing then was comedy and comedy skits so I started doing that um, a bunch of friends talked me into it. My best friend Eric actually is one who like really was like, "Hey, you should really do it." Yeah. And so I started doing comedy skits, did those for a while, and those actually got me involved in music. So it kind of moved a little bit towards music, and then I took some time off, kind of regathered and tried to figure out a way to like get back into it. And then I started moving into like the lifestyle and like male fashion and things like that. It's just it was completely different, completely revamped. Just started and over pretty much. That's awesome. But did you find that that kind of works? And that's a cool thing about kind of online video and YouTube especially is that you can kind of grow with it and adapt. Definitely. And I think that's that's honestly like the best part of it is it allows you to do that. It allows you to start one way and turn into something else. And then if you don't like those or if you have a new interest, you can just take that on and people will be involved and, and love it too. That's awesome. And recently you started a vlog. And so when did that start and how's that been going? I uh, started doing daily vlogs in March of this year and it was it was a really difficult thing to do actually because I had never watched vlogs before so not only had I not watched them I was being thrown into doing them daily and it took a little while to get used to it and to figure out like like how to express myself without like coming off cheesy or just or not like getting down about Again, because it was every day, so it was like it's hard to like kind of find a way to like be interesting every single day without like being fake. And so, after about a month or two, I think about two months, I like, finally got really comfortable with it, and I've just really enjoyed it. It's actually become like a really big part of my day. That's awesome. So let's talk about your tips because okay. you've you've learned uh, probably through trial and error too, and probably had some things just about editing about. Uh, you know, vlogging in general, like you said, I love that being authentic. What are some maybe, uh, would you say the biggest mistakes people make with vlogging that you kind of overcame and maybe you see other people doing that could improve their videos if they stop doing those? Okay. Uh, for vlogging, I think, um, personally, I think for vlogging, you can't really make mistakes. I think that's part of the best part of it is that there's no real mistake to it. Um, other than I would honestly say making sure like when you're vlogging, it's not shaky and all over the place. Mm. Like, the one thing I don't like about vlogs, because I've started to watch them a little bit now, ever since I started, um, and the only times I watch vlogs or something like that and I kind of get bothered, is like when someone has a camera and they're just kind of shaking it everywhere. Mm, yeah, I don't want to get motion sick. I know what you're saying. Video, As I watch me whip, they're just, it's just like <laughs> yeah. shaky, right? Yeah. But, but other than that, I feel like it's really hard to make mistakes with vlogging other than trying too hard. Like some people will go out of their way, like you don't have to go out of your way unless like, unless you're like fun for Louie and you're going out and doing adventures every single day. Yeah. Most people don't want to do that. Most people can't do that. So just being yourself is like a really big part of it. I know it's so cliche because everyone says that, but sure. when it comes to vlogging, that's a really big part of it. Because people want to grow with you. They want to see you start at a place and they want to see where you go. Yeah. And you can't grow with someone if they're not being authentic. 
That's really good. So authenticity. Now talk about your workflow because you have something that's kind of unique. You have two people in your vlogs, two content, sometimes coming from two places. And so and you're committed to seven days a week. Yeah. What are your tips to get your editing schedule, getting the stuff? Have you had any like stories where it was like hard to get the footage and stuff, stuff like that happened? And oh, what have you learned along the way? Yeah. Uh, well, like you said, there's two people doing it and we're coming together and make one video every single day. And since it's seven days a week, 24 hours a day, sometimes you hit bumps in the road trying to figure it out. We've had days where we've had vlog footage fail to send five or six times in a day. Um, there's one day where Mia at like about 7 p.m. drove from LA all the way to her mom's house in Corona um, just to go upload. Yeah. So, I mean, she, she drove a solid, at that time it was a lot of traffic, so it was like a solid three hour drive just to go and upload and make sure it got up that day. Yeah. We've had days where, real recently, um, while she's on tour, trying to send footage and just not being able to get it, it failing four, five, six times that day and not getting it until about like 6 p.m. Pacific time because she was out on the East Coast. Yeah. And so, which for her, it's like 9 p.m. She spent her entire day doing it up until showtime and then after showtime, resending it. And so we've had plenty of days like that. And it's just working it into every single day. It's become yeah. a routine. So when there's bumps in the road, now that we've done it for so long, it's just, you find where it fits in your day, you get it done and you, you put it up. So when it comes to now video editing, have you got into some rhythms and some things like that you do to save time uh, when it comes to that? What, and what program do you use? Uh, I use Final Cut Pro X because okay. uh, I use my Mac. It's really helpful. It, there's just so much I can do like for customization of different edits and things. Um, but mostly there's a couple of big things that I do every single video, especially for the daily vlogs because they're every day and there's a few things that are routine in them. Obviously, um, we have our, the date, and the time that like it scrolls at the very beginning of every vlog tells you what day it is uh, and it has like a, a ticking sound that goes with it like a typewriter sound uh, so i make sure to keep those as like a little template and then the music so every more every, every morning or every afternoon when i'm doing the video i'll clip it just before from the previous day and save that and i'll just drag those over because that saves so much extra time finding the same audio clip save the same text and same sizing and and then the next thing is the outro, just making sure I save the outro every single day and throw on the thumbnail from the previous day for that. Gotcha. And there are definitely days where I, <laughs> I mess those up and people make sure to let me know that I forgot to change them. Totally, totally. Uh, and what do you guys shoot with? You guys shoot at the same camera? Yeah, we each have a Canon G7X. Okay. It's, I feel like everyone on YouTube has that for It is, it's pretty, days, yeah. it's pretty popular, yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Now, uh, talking about your life ch uh, lifestyle channel now, I saw you go out the other day. What kind of gear do you bring out? And what's kind of your workflow to come up with an idea for that? Like, do you seasonally, obviously, fashion, but what are your, I, do you have a journal? I mean, what do you do to come up with ideas? Yeah, I, I definitely have a notebook where I write down a lot of my ideas. I keep notes on my phone. On my phone, I usually keep uh, like my rough ideas. Like if I was like, oh, I wanna do a fall outfits video, which is gonna be the one coming up. I would write that down on my phone. So I keep that idea and then I'll go home and then I'll put that in the notebook and then I'll slowly plan that out. Yeah. And then when I go out and shoot, I usually use, um, we use a Canon 70D, uh, but right now I don't have it. So, cause it's on tour with Mia. So I have the 60D and I was using that with a fisheye for this video. So it was actually a lot of fun. It was give it a whole new look, a whole new style. Yeah. But that's pretty much what I do. I'll come up with ideas like that. I'll see stuff. If I see like one of my friends make a video, I'm like, oh, that'd be a great idea. And I'll find a way to like, not just come, use that same idea, but like make it my own because totally. even though I do a lot of the lifestyle and fashion videos that like a lot of people do, I try and put like my own kind of like comedy twist to it because that's what I came up with. I started with comedy. I kind of want to keep it lighthearted. I don't want to take it too seriously. So on your lifestyle channel, you come up with some cool music and people are always looking for music for their videos. What are some of your tips like in places where you find that stuff? Oh man, music is probably one of the most difficult parts about any YouTube video for anyone. Uh, top to bottom, that is like the biggest question all the time. Um, a lot of people, they'll go through like the YouTube audio library and they get really lucky with it. I know that even like the top YouTubers still use the, that audio library, even for like momentarily, like in like the different clips. Um, but then you obviously, like you said, you gotta find like the solid song that goes through. And that's really difficult. I personally, I find niche like YouTube music channels that have like specific music that isn't copyrighted and it's not anyone's personal property that can be used. And that's, that's a really difficult route to go, but Again, like I try and do my things a little bit different than everyone else. So yeah. I don't use the popular music that everyone else uses. I, I find that music because that's music that I like and that's what I actually listen to. Right, right. So I try and involve that. But for finding it, it's really difficult. I try and tell people to steer, steer away from the top 40s. I know that's what everyone wants to hear and wants to see, but that's how you can get yourself in some pretty nasty messes. You yeah. Know, it's just, 
It's That's not, smart. Yeah, it's, it's easier to just try and find something easier. So I know that you said this is your secrets, but for the video influencers audience, would you share like one site that like you keep on the DL? Yeah, um, okay, all right. Uh, one channel that I check pretty often that I'm able to find some good music on is called Sound Station. Ooh, okay. It's like a soft EDM sound. Oh, cool. So it's not like, it's not your like, dubstep it's not going to blast your ears but it's going to have a slow like mellow groove vibe to it and it's pretty cool i love that so and if we can get any extras out of uh alex we'll put them in the show notes in the description because those underground sites be <laughs> special that people love that so cool well now we're in the lightning round i'm ready for it i'm excited do an interpretive dance of what you think lightning looks like this is, this is yeah. Three, two, one. Talking or texting? Texting. Person you trust most with a secret? My dad. Last thing you grabbed out of the fridge? Coke. Last song you had on repeat on whatever device? Probably something Tupac. What song? Um, Live and Die in LA. Rap it. Rap it. I can't rap it. Sing it. Sing the chorus. To live and die in LA mm. is the place to be. There you go, that's all I got for you. Coffee or tea? Neither. I'm at a blank. Soda. Coke? Yeah. Okay. Uh, favorite nickname for yourself? Oh, I used to go by Sonic. Where did you get that? Uh, my sister when I was younger. Do you still go by it? Uh, she calls me that actually sometimes. Would, peop while. would people know about Sonic? No. Wow, that's yeah. public now. Yeah. You, you heard I, it here. Just, oh, man. It's I a video influencers out. exclusive. Yeah. Uh, NYC or LA? LA. Why? Uh, I like how sprawled out and, laid out and like laid back it is. Awesome. Cat or dog? Dog. Biggest pet peeve? Uh, bad breath. We have et bad breath. Uh, oh no. The interviewer. It was a, it was, it was, <laughs> it was a subtle I jab. It was a shade. Favorite holiday? Halloween. Favorite snack? Favorite snack? Reese's Cups. Harry Potter or The Hunger Games? Harry Potter. Taylor Swift or Justin Bieber? Taylor Swift. Mmm. Favorite YouTube channel right now that you're watching? LA Beast Daily Vlogs. LA Beast Daily Vlogs. Yeah, he used to do like all the food eating challenges, like the crazy stuff, like eating cactuses. He just recently started doing daily vlogs and they're hilarious. Boom, lightning round. So lastly, what's coming up for you? What kind of projects, what, what's on, what are some of the passions and things that you have that are gonna, people can expect to see from you? Um, right now, actually, I want to do a lot more collaborative ideas with some of my friends who are also YouTubers. So I'm going to actually kind of step back and do a, some uh, challenge videos. I haven't done, I've done a couple here and there, but I really want to get some of my friends more involved and do some stuff with people because everything's been so me. Yeah. That I really want to try and like add some extra dynamic. I thought challenges are always fun. People enjoy those. I figure I might as well put something there that I can do something that would be really fun with my friends and hopefully some different ones, like come up with some newer challenges too, not necessarily like the same ones you always see. Yep, yep, that's awesome. And then lastly, just so everybody knows, of course, we'll put in the show notes uh, below, but what are, um, where can people find you? And where are you most active social media wise? Oh man, right now, actually Snapchat, I've been pretty busy on Snapchat. Um, Instagram as well, I mean, everyone goes there. And then actually Twitter, I've actually been all over Twitter lately. Uh, yeah? I haven't been a huge Twitter person until like the past couple months, but I've been loving it. Yeah, your Twitter game's strong. It's been fun. And then two YouTube channels. Yeah, then I have the, obviously the two YouTube channels. I have the Lifestyle channel, which is Rash New, and then my daily vlogs, with, which is Alex and Mia. Hey, so thanks so much for checking out this video. Make sure to subscribe for more videos to help you build your influence with online video. And we want to thank FameBit for making this whole LA tour possible. Such a great site to not just help you build your influence, but your income by connecting video creators with sponsors. What say you? I say that you guys should definitely call your friends, text your friends, tweet your friends. Show them this channel. This is great. These guys are doing big things. I appreciate what they're doing out here. Make sure you guys are subscribing, you're watching, and leaving those likes. Yeah, comment below because Alex is in the video and tell him what you think the best thing and the smartest thing and the craziest thing that he said in the comments. Do we get bombed? I think we did. Oh, hey, we're on the Video Influencers uh, tour and we just shot an interview with Alex and we're here at the Hollywood Bowl. How did it go? It was actually a lot of fun. I loved it. I thought it was so, so good. good. You can look the right way too, I'm impressed. Nailed it. Most people always look the wrong way. Nailed Later. it. Bye. 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 Video bomb? Do we get bombed? Lightning, 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 lightning. Uh, Famebit, who partnered with us just to make this whole tour, tour, or whole tour possible. I'm gonna say that again. And we want to thank, we wanna thank them. Yo, yo, we wanna thank them. Uh, 
Uh, we want to thank them. Yeah. Because thankfulness and gratitude are the best thing that you can have in your heart. <laughs> I do the whole outro over again. <laughs>